everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. We've been here before, but in times past, I've done videos where I've organized my kitchen cabinets and I've cleaned the oven and done some other things, but today we are going to actually cook. I was reviewing my channel probably maybe a few weeks ago, and I was looking at the about section that I had put the information in about me and realized even in that section it said something about cooking, doing cooking videos sometimes. And I was in the kitchen a few weeks ago. By now most of you have probably seen the video where I talk about my mom and where have I been and um, talk about grieving. But I was in here a few weeks ago and I was cooking something and I can't remember what I was cooking but it made me think about my mom. So of course I smiled and I also cried, but when I'm cooking in the kitchen, it makes me feel close to my mom because my mom was a wonderful cook. She cooked every day, every day. It was, um, we grew up with four of us. My sister came along quite late, so it's five of us in all, but my sister came along when I was a senior in high school, or at least when I was in my high school year, so it was different because she kind of grew up almost like an only child, because by the time, you know, we were grown and had gotten married and moved away, so she ended up being home by herself. But anywho, I was in the kitchen, I was cooking, and, you know, whatever I was doing, it made me think about my mom. So what I've decided to do in trying to help move forward and get unstuck and just continue living my life, I've decided to also incorporate some cooking videos as well. This is something special because this was my mom's, one of her many cast iron skillets. So I have things in the kitchen that are very near and dear to me because they were my mom's. This is one of them. Also this little bowl right here. This is a sugar bowl. I grew up with this bowl. This was our sugar bowl that was on the table. And it has to be every bit of at least 50 years old because I'm 50. So this is really sweet because it reminds me of my childhood and just growing up. And there are some other things that I have in here too that I'm sure eventually I'll get to. That reminds me of my mom. So. Today will be the very first of my cooking videos. Again, my mom was a great cook, but she was very simple in her cooking and her spices. Her go-to spices were seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. That's what she used the majority of the time. Anytime she did chicken, um, any beef, those were the spices that she used. And again, she was just very simple. So I have created what I call uh, Mama's Mix, which is my house blend, that have those seasonings all mixed up together. And that way when I'm seasoning meat, I don't have to season with the seasoning salt, go back with the garlic powder, go back with the onion powder, go back with the paprika. I have it all mixed up together in one seasoning and I just sprinkle and go. So this is my effort to really try to just keep moving and again get unstuck because I know my mom would not want me around here sad because she has lived her life or she lived her life to live again and she's enjoying Jesus every day and she wouldn't want me sad. I was looking at a video the other day of the frugal nista. Shout out to the frugal nista. And she was talking about being in her backyard. And it was hard for her to go in her backyard after her mom had passed. And she knew her mom, you know, would be like, you better go out in that backyard and enjoy yourself, you know, and do what you do. So I told her when I saw that video, that was just confirmation of what I needed to do. I've got to move. Grief can have us where we are just paralyzed. And that's where I've been for three and a half, almost four years. So I hope you guys will enjoy this feature on my channel because food should be beautiful too. And we can come up with some beautiful two creations as it pertains to food because this is the heart of the home. You know, and a lot of love happens when we get in here and get these pots and 
pans are going and a clanking. So I hope that you guys will enjoy um, these videos. And I pray that it helps me to do what I know my mom would want me to do. And that's just move. Continue to live my life. Stop being sad. Because I know she's okay. I know she's okay. But I'm sad because she's not physically here with me. But I'm trying my best to push past that and just get to moving. I actually started my channel in January of 2016. So it's time to get to moving. So I have a lot of things that remind me of her in my kitchen. Um, and this this um, apron that I have on my sister, my sister did this apron for me. And it's about, it's every bit of 16 years old. But this apron has, let me take it a loose, has all of my children's names on here like little ladybugs <laughs> and I wash it and it's as clean as it's gonna get but this is special too so between this and um, the other little sweet reminders about my mama in this kitchen we're just gonna do what we need to do and um, do what I know she would want me to do let me see if I can get some of you all to get to drooling and get your mouths watering, sharing some of these home-cooked meals that my mama taught me how to cook. I tell you, ironically enough, the first dish that I would be cooking would be some fried chicken. My mom loved fried chicken. So right now I'm just going to put some Crisco in here and let it start let it start heating up. I've already seasoned the chicken. I've washed it, I've seasoned it, and I did that last night because if, I, if at all possible I like to season it the day before and let it sit in the refrigerator and just kind of marinate overnight in the seasonings. I've let it sit out. It's been sitting out about 30 minutes now, about 30 to 45 minutes. You never want to cook meat that's just really cold. It cooks more evenly if it's room temperature. Let me show you what I've seasoned the chicken with. Okay, the seasonings I use is seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, crushed black pepper, accent, and a packet of saison. I mentioned earlier the seasonings that my mom used and I did forget to mention the black pepper so she used the seasoning salt, the black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder and paprika was her go-to seasonings for a lot of the things especially meats that she cooked. I have since added to that accent and also a packet of the saison. So, in me seasoning the meat, this is the house blend that I was sharing with you earlier. And all of these seasonings are in this blend. So, when I season, I just have to shake. Shake and go. And it makes it much easier not to have to grab each individual spice to... Um, Season the chicken. I think I'm going to put a little bit more black pepper on it. Okay. And I'm getting ready to start flouring the chicken. Let me wash my hands again. You all make sure when you're in the kitchen cooking, wash your hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. That's just nasty. Okay. This is the bowl I use, and I have my flour in the bowl. So what we're going to do is just add the chicken to the bowl. I like 
to put the lid on it and just shake, shake, shake. Coated. In the meantime, my oven, my um, stove top is set on like high, but I'm getting ready to turn it down. Turn it down until on about, it's on about five. Chicken down in there. And of course it's too much to cook all at one time. Don't want to overcrowd the pan. Let me wash my hands. In the meantime, I'm going to put the rest of this chicken in here. Not wash your hands too much. There is no such thing as washing your hands too much. And sometimes I don't always use a bowl. Sometimes I use the um, a Ziploc bag. I just kind of shake it up in a Ziploc bag. And I like to turn mine once it starts browning a little bit. I turn it over, let it start browning on the other side, and then I'll turn it back. Turn it so we can. Now that I've turned it, I let it cook all the way 
on the other side before I turn it again. I'll let it get as brown as I want it to get before I turn it back. I also turn the burner up to like a medium high. down in it because I don't want all my juice to run out of my chicken. my hands again.
Look how pretty that chicken looks. Isn't that pretty? Fry that chicken. I just said I wonder who's gonna be the one to come digging. Y'all, they finished. What is this? I said who's gonna be here digging. I don't wanna eat nothing. You don't wanna eat nothing? I can't tell.